What's happening, sports fans? Welcome back to another episode with Mama and Papa Joe. Today on the menu are frog legs. My buddy Roddy Trevino uh, brought me a box of frog legs this past weekend. Uh, most often you see frog legs fried. Today we're going to smother them. If this is your first time hanging out with Mama and Papa Joe's, we really appreciate it. Hopefully by the end of this, vi this short video, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. Tell a friend. Ring that bell to get uh, notified of our weekly videos. Without further ado, let's get started. Here are today's guest of honor. I've got two pounds of beautiful, nicely cleaned, fresh smelling frog legs. The box that these came in were, were six pounds. About 13 of these pairs make two pounds. So roughly they're a little under uh, three ounces each. Man, but do they smell fresh. No slime or anything nice and clean. The first thing we're gonna do is to simply black pepper, nice heavy black pepper, some Tony's. We don't wanna over salt because uh, throughout this process, uh, there's going to be some additional salt involved. Quick toss. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to set aside. We're going to come back with our flour dredge. One cup of flour. Two teaspoons of Tony's. One teaspoon of garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, and black pepper right into the pool. Quick toss. That paprika is gonna help these get a nice color when we go to brown them. And that color will then transfer to our gravy. At least that's the plan. We're gonna come right back with all our legs nicely seasoned right in there and we're just going to quickly toss get these floured up so I've got a pan cast iron pan on the stove preheating uh, medium high I wanted to use olive oil but uh, just realized there wasn't enough in the bottle to complete so I'm looking in here about uh, I don't know two tablespoons, three tablespoons or so of oil to preheat. If I need more as I uh, go through the cook, I will add it. I want to get that nice and hot. And we're going to look at starting to brown these frog legs. And I think we are where we need to be. We don't want to overcrowd this pot. So we're probably looking at four, maybe five per batch. Yeah, I think five per batch will do. So on medium high, it's been about four minutes per side and that is what I'm looking for right there. That's beautiful. So our frog legs are brown and uh, our oil didn't burn. This is what we're after, this brown bit. We wanna make sure we scrape everything off the bottom. We're gonna come in with the Trinity. Onions, bell, bell pepper, and celery. I'm gonna go in with the onions first. I'm gonna give those about uh, ah, five or so minutes alone. I really want them to uh, start to caramelize, get some good color. What we're gonna be working on right here, folks, is a bit of a roux. Oh yeah. We wanna scrape up everything off the bottom. Frog legs, like chicken, like rabbit, can be a bit of a bland meat. So a way to kick this up uh, it's going to be to add in a little bit of bacon. 
I'm gonna add just a little more flour uh, to create a bit of a roux. That's going to be the base for my gravy that we're gonna smother these legs in. Some of my same old uh, flour dredge. I'm gonna add just a pinch more. A roux again is just a combination of oil and some uh, flour correction. A combination of flour and some sort of shortening. So instead of adding some more unflavored uh, canola oil or something along those lines, I am going to add two strips of bacon. And this is some mesquite smoked bacon. Uh, that's going to really kick up the flavor. Nice little smoky mesquite complement to these uh, frog legs. So we're going to give this about a 10, 15 or so minutes. I really want these onions to brown and we'll uh, continue. It's been about 10 uh, minutes or so and man, the onions are looking good. It is smelling great. I'm starting to see just a little bit of char on some of uh, the veggies. We're coming back in with the rest of the Trinity. Bell peppers and celery. We're gonna give this another five to 10 minutes. In addition to that, I'm going to add uh, one teaspoon of some minced garlic. And a tablespoon or so of uh, some green onions. A little parsley. Man, this is cooked down nicely. The smell is absolutely intoxicating. This is ready to eat right there. I'm not gonna add in, uh, let's say a cup of uh, chicken stock. Uh, maybe a cup and a half. Just an eyeball it. Oh yeah. We're gonna give this about five minutes to get going. Really get to know each other. And then frog legs into the pool and we will adjust our liquid content at that point. All right, it's been a solid five minutes. We scraped up uh, everything off the bottom. We wanna make sure we do that. We don't wanna leave any of that goodness uh, behind. So we're gonna come back now with our little frog legs. And just make sure everybody's in the pool. We're gonna come back now with a little additional. This is gonna thicken some. So my guess would be that would be about two cups of uh, chicken stock. We're gonna bring this back to a boil and then we're gonna turn our stove down to medium. And once we start that medium, I'm gonna start a clock for about a half an hour. And these should be tender and ready to go. If they're not at uh, half an hour, then we're gonna be looking at about 45 minutes. Okay, we are right at a half an hour. And, uh, oh, I think, I think we are ready to go. Ooh, let me get a little, a little leg right here. Man, that smells absolutely delicious. Oh. Perfectly tender. Tasty. Little hint of smoke from that bacon. Mm, absolutely delicious. Let me put a plate together. Man, that looks.
looks absolutely delicious. I'm about ready to throw down. All right, baby, let's see what we got going here. Man, this is beautiful. It smells good. Oh, man. Seasoned perfectly. Want a little drummy? <laughs> Let's say it tastes like chicken. I can say that it really does. Guys, this is delicious. So simple, so quick. Try it out, let me know what you think. I want to thank you guys once again for hanging out with Mom and Pop Joe's. And if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, we need your assistance, please do so. Ring that bell, make sure you get notified of our, our weekly videos. You know what you're gonna get with Mom and Papa Joe's. You're gonna get the good shit, not the bullshit. Be on the lookout for our next uh, video. Thanks again, and you guys take care. See you later.